this is a major purchase and we feel that it is prudent that all council persons and citizens alike are familiar with the rationale behind it, as well as the nuances of the particular purchase. The ambulance that this vehicle is replacing is very, very tired with over 100,000 miles. An issue prone 6.0 diesel motor and most recently being placed out of service for air conditioning issues uh, that are not very convenient this time of year for patients to suffer from heat exhaustion and whatever. And an ambulance with no AC is out of service by the state. We have no say on that. Anyway, continuing, the vehicle specified by the committee is bare bones type of vehicle which features, with features mimicking the previous ambulance purchased by the squad. This standardizes equipment layout, which is very good at 2 a.m. on the worst day of someone's life, is the last thing you want to be doing is rifling from cabinets to find nox units. The major exception to this specification, different from the, from the last purchase, is that this vehicle is not a four-wheel drive and is a gas-powered Ford. Um, the rationale behind this is threefold, as new revisions and emission standards make the purchase of lightning diesel chassis both counterintuitive to overall operating and, service and servicing costs, and any change to chassis by another manufacturer would disqualify the town from a government price concession, saving only 6000 off the chassis. The overall cost of the vehicle is significantly less than other vehicles specified by surrounding squads, and neighboring squads just took delivery in annual to exceed 180000 so 114000 is a bargain. Additionally, this price is without trading. The premise behind this is that we should get a better value selling at auction than trading, much like the highway department has done with surplus equipment in the past, as the ambulance service has additional equipment that, will be, that we will be declaring surplus as well, and it is anticipated that the funds recovered from sales of such equipment shall be utilized to further defer cost, overall cost of the purchase to the taxpayer. There was some question in regards to the fact that there was only one bid received, and I assure the board that and the public that there were over five conversations with different ambulance dealers in regards to the specifications and the rationale was simple. No one else came forward with an ambulance meeting specifications that is short enough to fit in our provided space, as I'm certain that in upcoming meetings we'll be approving other bids that only receive one bid, i.e. recreation transportation. This is well within the purview of municipal bid process and has been past practice in kind of Shandaken for some time. Overall, this purchase will finally round out standardization of our fleet of vehicles and coincide with our replacement schedule for equipment. May I remind everyone that the town of Shandigan Ambulance is the town's only 24-hour municipal service and ambulance vehicles are expected to respond safely and effectively to emergencies day in and day out. It is our duty to protect the citizens and visitors to the town of Shandigan and we thank you for your support by providing us with equipment that will enable us to effectively serve that population for years to come. Mileage. Month of May, 78.50, had 78 miles put on it. That was down for a little while. We had some uh, mechanical issues. 78.51, 693 miles. 6.25, 683 miles. And 6.26, uh, 746 miles. And that vehicle has 103,000 miles on it. Approaching 104,000. That's the vehicle we're going to be looking to take off the road. Thank you. Go. Any questions? No? Thank you. Thank you. Police. Tamisha Water. According to Rick, things are pretty calm right now. We're still waiting for approval of the USDA grant. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I have a note from Rob on the whole subject of grants, including the MARC project with pay. And so he mentioned in the note that he was waiting to hear from them. And presumably, we haven't heard anything new as far as the, the, the grant to replace the water main is concerned. Right. So that's still up in the air, but we expect approval. Um, Would that be when, when you think it's a rule or your phone? Uh, he doesn't mention it, and I surely don't know. Yeah. That. yeah. Um, as far as what the MARC project is going to work on is um, relocate the High Street pump house, um, complete the loop on High Street. It would be great if they could do all these things. Uh, reclamation work on the infiltration gallery, and 
and um, also new meters and the software to go with them so that we can have a much easier time detecting leaks because we have a hard time with it now. It's really rough. You, you know, you can cruise through the neighborhood and see right away where there's excessive water use. Like the same as Pine Hill. So that's where we're at right now. It's possibly in a good place overall. Any questions? Yeah, Alfred, um, was there ever that study completed where we were trying to determine how much, uh, how many gallons we, we uh, built for and how many gallons we pumped? Not yet. We talked about that over a year or so ago, right? That took a while to get some figures from Rick, but I'm working on it. Determine how much leak and how you know if they were excessive well, or not. We don't know where it's going. If we if we have a shortfall, which there always is, then it's to determine where it went. If it's being you know if it's being wasted, it's being leaked. Who knows? If there's things that are not metered, and any of those possibilities. All right. I mean, we'll give you a general idea of what was going on. Was Correct. Okay, thanks. Uh, the museum has been holding its own. We're still having problems with the heat. The building needs new heat. We've been fighting it for three years. Same as we fought to get the tree taken down for two years to get the museum sign put up for two years. It still hasn't been done. So we're fighting a constant battle. That's why I'm done. I have enough other things going. Let somebody else handle it. Right now, we got together with the Pratt Museum in Prattsville. And they are doing a an exhibit that's going to run for six months on the rent wars in the Catskills. And we have donated some of our materials on loan to them, the thrashing machine, hand tools, farming hand tools, uh, flintlock rifles, which come out of my own collection. And they'll be on display at, at the Pratt Museum. So that will be going on for six months. And what is that? That's right in town, Pratt's in the... Excuse me? That's right in town, Prattsville. Yeah right in the center of town. So, uh, outside of that, Kathleen is doing a wonderful job up there, but we need a historian. We have a historian, but uh, she spends most of her time in Georgia. That doesn't help us. Right. So you guys are gonna have to get together and get us a historian. All right. All right. So with that, I'll leave you. Thank you. Take it easy. Recreation. I don't know if anybody from the committee is here, but I'm Randall Hart. I'm the director of the Town of Chandigarh Summer Recreation Program. Um, applications are being accepted now for counselors. Particularly, we are in dire need of a counselor who will also serve as an emergency first aid person. Uh, we cannot get our operating certificate unless we have a person on site that is uh, a, a certified to American Red Cross, American Heart Association, I, I don't know, there's a bunch of American Safety and Health Institute, but there's a lot, you know, there's a basic certification for emergency, responding to emergencies, and I just, we really need it. All right, and Ron so, comes back to it. I, I'm yeah, I, well, he knows. He's aware of it. Okay, and, cool. right. um, every single lead that I've put out there has kind of fallen flat. Uh -huh. yeah. So, um, um, interviews. I was just looking at my um, 
Uh, the REC program begins on July 6th. I will begin doing interviews on the week of the 22nd of June. So interviewing counselors. So anybody who's interested, um, please apply as soon as possible so that we can get, get you on board and I can get all the reference checks and everything else. And we'll get you the applications online on our website and the deadline's the 20th. I think it's the 20th. The 20th, okay, good. So um, everything's on our website, Shandiga.us, plus there's a link on our Facebook page. Since most counselors, I would think, go online. Yes. <laughs> we have to yes. worry about that. So, yeah. Okay, great. Thank the, you. The application's right there. So that makes it very easy. Hall. Bring it to the town hall, the supervisor's office, or mail them. All right, great. And as soon as I get it, I'll give you a call. Schedule. Uh, Schedule an interview. All right? All right. Okay. Thank you. I'm looking forward to a great summer. Oh, start off with it. Day. Um, hey. I'm not prepared. I didn't know. No. <laughs> uh, Shandake Day this year is Saturday, August 29th. Good. Plans are well underway. We got an early start. Uh, vendor applications are on the town website. They can be downloaded from there. We're looking for volunteers to help with parking, and we're also taking suggestions for Hamlet heroes um, that would have to live in the Hamlets of Alvin, Bushnellville, and Shandaken, as well as uh, suggestions for the pride of Shandaken and Shandaken. Parking. What? Parking. But yes, I got you too. I'll see Vinny and Faye after. It's going to be a big Indian park. Yes, big Indian park. So, yes, we get the best uh, turnout there, right off the road. So, public comments and resolutions. Two motions. Let's go to resolutions. Resolution number 80-15, resolution, resolution to pay all bills, whereas the Department of Audit and Control requires town boards to sign and inspect all vouchers coming into the town for payment, the number and total amounts from each fund, therefore be it resolved that the town board authorized the following vouchers paid. General, $21,170.69, highway $24,414.23, Phoenicia Water, $7,402.88. Pine Hill Water, $921.39. Phoenicia Lights, $819.41. Chichester Lights, $127.40. And Pine Hill Lights, $493.34 for a total of $55,349.34. And I move its adoption. I'll second that. Yes. 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 Resolution 8115. Resolution authorizing supervisor to sign tax litigation avoidance program participating community agreement. Whereas an agreement has been made by and between the Catskill Watershed Corporation, CWC, a not for profit corporation organized under the laws of the state of New York and the town of Shandaken. Town or Assessing Authority, Ulster County, New York, a political subdivision of the state of New York acting by and through its supervisor, having its principal offices at 7209 New York State Route 28, Shandaken, New York. And whereas the Tax Litigation Avoidance Program, TLAP, is a requirement of the December 2010 water supply permit issued by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. And Whereas the 2010 water supply permit is a continuation of the 1997 water supply permit and enforceable by all signatories to the 1997 New York City Watershed Memorandum of Agreement. And whereas CWC and New York City Department of Environmental Protection, NYC DEP, or the city, entered into the TLAP contract dated January 25th, 2012. TLAP program contract, and whereas the assessing authority is named party in proceeding 
filed by the City of New York under Article 7 of the Real Property Tax Law contesting the assessments of certain city-owned real property within the boundaries of the assessing authority and whereas after receipt and review of the CLAP program contract and the generic template relevant to the assessment of certain city-owned real property within the assessing authority, the assessing, uh, assessing authority passes a resolution to participate in the TLAP and execute the TLAP program participating community agreement, the agreement. And whereas CWC development program standards for the management and administration of the TLAP and distribution of program funds in order to pursue all program work described in the TLAP program contract and therefore to be resolved in consideration of the promises and respective representatives contained in the agreement, the Town Board of Shandaken hereby authorizes the Town Supervisor to execute said agreement and I move its adoption. A second. Board Member Bernstein. I spoke with uh, Tim today. I'm, I'm just not all that fully understanding of this letter that we got from the Pasco Watershed Corporation and, and actually the resolution. Um, I mean, uh, from Tim Cox, that letter was, and said we had 60 days to do that, and this letter said May 20th. Um, he also uh, advised that if you have any questions regarding TLAP, uh, please do not hesitate to contact me concerning the attendance of the town board meeting. Uh, I'd still like to have him come in tell us what this whole thing is about. I, like I said, I'm, I, I don't want to vote no on it, but on the other hand, I... I you don't want to vote yes, yes or I don't, don't understand, I don't understand it. What do you tell you, what do you think about it? Did you did you understand this in your way? Did you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alvin? Yeah. Then I think that, you know, and again I spoke to Tim Cox today, I called him up on the phone. He talked to me, I still maybe I, in my own mind I don't have it all together, but I understand what it's about and I you know and I have my Well this resolution about. just giving the supervisor the authority to execute an agreement that's already in place. Right. 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 It was just worded so much. It's, it's if you don't know, it's time. Time. It's yeah. But it's an agreement that's in place, and we're going to give the supervisor the authority to execute it. Okay. Pretty well. I mean, you know, the rest of the town board members feel, you know, they understand it well. I'll, I'll, I'll go along with your recommendation. Uh, I, just, I just don't understand it that well, so I need to say no. I'll, uh, I'll say yes on the idea that uh, Mr. Town Board would think it's a good idea. Okay. Board Member Daly? Yes. Board Member Moorlach? Yes. Board Member Storm? Yes. Resolution 8215, resolution to approve ambulance vehicle bid. Whereas the Town Board advertised to receive bids for replacement ambulance vehicle to be opened at the main meeting. Whereas one bid was received and accepted from Northeast Rescue Vehicle, Syracuse, New York. Whereas the ambulance chief and town board has reviewed the specifications required for the vehicle and have determined the specifications and price meet their approval. Therefore, be it resolved, the town board hereby approves the bid from Northeast Rescue Vehicle and move its adoption. I'll second that. Board Member Bernstein? Yes. Board Member Hitler? Yes. Board Member Malloy? Yes. Board Member Storms? Yes. Resolution 82-15. Resolution appointing Summer Recreation Director and Assistant. Whereas under Section 20, Notes of Decision 9 of the Town Law, the Town Board shall appoint all employees of the Town. Therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Shandaken appoints the following personnel. Raya Susan Hart, Recreational Director at $600 weekly. Manuela Jean Pierre, Assistant Recreation Specialist at $400 weekly. For the purpose of coordinating and managing the Town of Shandaken Summer Recreation Program to run from Tuesday, July 7th, 2015 through and including Thursday, August 13th, 2015. And I move its adoption. Second. Board Member Bernstein? Yes. Board Member Bigley? Yes. Board Member Mola? Yes. Board Member Storm? Yes. Resolution number 84-15, resolution authorizing contract for use of Bel Air Beach for Shandaken Summer Recreation Day Camp. Whereas the town of Shandaken operates a summer recreation day camp, CAMP, for the benefit of its residents, and whereas the camp will operate daily from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. on Tuesday through Thursdays from July 7, 2015 through August 13, 2015, 
and whereas the Bel Air Day Use Area Beach is a local attraction that annually hosts our camp, and whereas the Olympic Regional Development Authority, ORTA, currently operates the beach, therefore be it resolved that the Town of Shandaken Town Board authorize the Town Supervisor to enter into agreement with the ORTA to operate the camp at the beach for the 2015 summer season and move to adoption. I'll second. Board Member Bernstein? Yes. Yes. Board Member Yes. Board Member Yes. Resolution 8515, resolution authorizing contract with UCAP, whereas the Town of Shandaken Summer Recreation Program runs through Tuesday, July 7th, 2015, through and including Thursday, August 13th, 2015, and whereas the Ulster County Area Transit, UCAP, system has provided us with the required daily transportation for the camp participants and counselors, excluding field trip dates on of Wednesdays, July 29th and August 12th, 2015. Therefore, it be resolved that the Town of Shandaken, <coughs> Town of Shandaken Town Board authorize the Town Supervisor to enter into agreement with UCAT in order to provide said transportation for those dates for program participants and employees. And I move its adoption. Second. Board Member Bernstein? Yes. Board Member Reagan? Yes. Board Member Moore? Yes. Board Member Storm? Yes. Resolution 86-15, Resolution Advertising for Transportation Bids for Summer Recreation Program Field Trips. Whereas the Town of Shandaken Summer Recreation Program will be taking two field trips during the coming season. Therefore, be it resolved that the Town of Shandaken Town Board advertise transportation bids for the following field trips. Two school buses per round trip to and from Howe Cabins on Wednesday, July 29, 2015 and two school buses for a round trip to and from the Zoom Flume on Wednesday, August 12, 2015. All bids must be, be received by July 6, 2015 at 3 p.m. at the Town Clerk's Office, Shandaken Town Hall, 7209 Route 28, Shandaken, New York, 12480, and to be awarded at that night's town board meeting at 7 p.m. I move its adoption. I'll second that. Board Member Bernstein? Yes. Board Member Yes. Board Member Yes. Board Member Yes. Board yes. Board Resolution 87-15, Marriage Officer Christopher Trent. Whereas pursuant to New York State Domestic Relations Law, the governing body of a municipality has the right to appoint marriage officer who shall have the authority to solemnize a marriage within the territorial jurisdiction of such municipality, and which marriage shall be, that shall be valid if performed in accordance with other provisions of law, and whereas according to said law, the marriage officer, officer appointment is valid for a period of four years, an officer shall receive no salary or wage, and is authorized to accept and keep up to $75 for each marriage that he officiates, to be paid by or on behalf of the person who's married. Whereas Christopher Trent, a resident of the town of Shandaken, has requested the town board to appoint him to the position of marriage officer for the period of four years, or until such time as this appointment is withdrawn pursuant to domestic relations law 11-C, whichever comes first. Now, therefore, be resolved that Christopher Trent be appointed town of Shandaken marriage officer. This resolution shall take effect immediately. Appointment expires June 1st, 2019. I move its adoption. I'll second that. Board Member Bernstein? Yes. Board Member Higley? Yes. Board Member Boyd? Yes. Board Member Schultz? Yes. Resolution number 88-15, whereas the Town of Shandaken has recently had the operation and control of Shandaken Rural Cemetery conveyed to them, whereas New York State Law Section 290 requires the Town Supervisor and Town Clerk to file with the County Clerk a list of available burial lots and to offer said lots to the public. Therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Shandaken designate the Supervisor and Town Clerk to notify the County Clerk of burial lots available and to sell said lots at the Shandaken Rural Cemetery on a first-come, first-served basis. Be it further resolved that the Town of Shandaken will continue to observe the laws, rules, and regulations as stated in Section 1507 of the New York State Cemetery Board and move its adoption. Second. Board Member Bernstein? Yes. Board Member Higley? Yes. Board Member Moore? Yes. Board Member Stewart? Yes. Resolution 8915, approve mark project application to New York State Homes and Community, New York State Main Street Program. 
whereas the Mark Project desires to apply for up to $500,000 in financial assistance through the 2015 Consolidated Funding Application, CFA, under the New York Main Street Program, whereas the application proposes funding to assist property owners to complete building renovations to downtown Main Street buildings on Main Streets in the town of Andes, Middletown, Roxbury, Shandagan, and the villages of Margaretville and Fleischmann. Whereas, the proposed funding will contribute to the ongoing community revitalization efforts, and whereas the grant application requires that the applicant obtain the approval and endorsement of the governing body of the municipality in which the project will be located. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Shandagan approves and endorses the 2015 New York Main Street application for assistance prepared and to be submitted by the Mark Project Incorporated and move its adoption. I'll second. Board Member Bernstein? Yes. Board Member Nagley? Yes. Board Member Malloy? Yes. Board Member Ford? Yes. Public comment.